everybody, it's your homegirl Joy here, and I have a lot more plants now. So the past couple of weeks have been crazy with a lot of family coming to visit, and my mom recently just left to go back to New York, where we came from. <laughs> But during that time, I collected plants, either that they were gifted to me or that I bought with Jared. Let's get started. So the first new addition to the family is yet another Guzmania, and it's more of a coral color. Her name is Carol. Here she is. Not too different from the previous, but definitely a brighter, kind of like a hot pink color coral, don't you think? I don't know. So Guzmanias are a tropical plant. They like humid environments where they're potted and it's kind of like a peat moss. Um, I like to leave it slightly damp. I also spray their leaves daily just so they get some of the moisture through the leaves as well. They have a little cup where you can put some water in and as long as it's not standing there for more than a day then they usually drink it right up. Okay, now the second plant that I received is actually one that my mom brought back from New York. She used to take care of this older couple a few years ago and they had gone to Europe and while on their travels, they brought back home this lava rock that was shaped to kind of like a bowl and they had planted some succulents in it from Europe and brought it back to, the, to New York and they gifted that to her. So this succulent is a Semper Vivum and it is a hardy succulent called Cobweb House Leek. Its hardiness zone is five to eight. I mean, if you wanna look up a chart, it gives you the exact temperatures of what that is. To give you an idea, it can withstand to about negative 20 degrees. That's five. <laughs> So she grows with kind of like this cobweb looking fuzz in the center of her rosette and these little offshoots are other little succulents growing and that's, that's just how they grow. They stretch out, they mature, and eventually the mother plant will die and the babies will carry on her legacy. <laughs> and <laughs> she brought me this mug. This plant lady. That's my life. Okay, so the next three succulents that I received are from Jarrett's stepmom. Um, so this is Mama Lily. <laughs> and the first one is, it's a sedum coral carpet. Sedum, 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 right? Yeah, sedum. But here she is. This one I'm so excited about because it already has little buds. When it does bloom, it has little white flowers at the end of their stems and ah, <laughs> I'm really excited about that. This is a hardy ice plant, zones 4 through 8. So 4 is lower and it can withstand to about negative 30. Now this doesn't mean go planting these out where you live and it's negative 30 degrees all the time, don't do that. <laughs> but that's just what it could survive. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. So this next one is a sedum ru rupestre. <laughs> it's called an Angelina stone crop and its hardiness is 3 to 11. This one's pretty cool. Now all of these Lily did just like rip out of the ground from her yard and put in a plastic bag for me. So I did see that the more mature Angelinas that she had in the yard, they were this orange and yellow color. These were more in a, a shaded area under a tree and they were uh, a newer sprout. I'm definitely curious curious to see how much light it'll take and how much direct sunlight it'll take for this to to be more of an orange yellow kind of color and I thought it was beautiful. Now this next one is called Delasperma nubergina. Did I get that right? Nubergina. <laughs> this one's really pretty. It is a zone three to nine and it actually has this beautiful yellow flower, kind of like a daisy, but her leaves are this bright green. Some of them have these red tips, these red yellow tips around it. It was just really stunning. The first thing that caught my eye, the blossom. <laughs> that some of them had. It was this beautiful, vibrant yellow flower, so I'm excited to see this one fully open. Yeah, I 
I'm really excited to, to see this one grow and I hope that <laughs> I can take care of it and do it justice. So all four of those succulents are hardy succulents. You can plant them outside in a colder environment if you're in the northern states and you want to enjoy some succulents outside in your yawn, in your, in your yawn, <laughs> in your lawn. <laughs> they are all low growing and they, they spread throughout the ground. They're more ground cover than anything and they're just beautiful and they they change colors they're very vibrant okay so these next two are plants that Jared and I bought so one is a succulent and one is not <laughs> so this next one we were not prepared for but she's a beaut it is the Calancholi diagramantiana <laughs> it is the mother of thousands now this plant I have been eyeballing for a while. I've seen it online and I've researched it and I just fell in love. I thought it was gorgeous that this plant grew its little babies right on its leaves, right at the edge of its leaves. It is a zone 9 to 11, so unless you're in a warmer environment and climate where you live, it doesn't get cold, then you can grow these as outdoor plants, though I have read a that they seem to be a lot better in containers <laughs> to take care of. So as I mentioned before, its babies actually grow right at the edge of its leaves and you can see that some of the babies already have started growing roots, <laughs> which is crazy. Actually, I've only had this for two weeks. Here is a picture of how big it was and what it looked like and this is it now. I didn't realize that this plant grew so quickly. We were not prepared. <laughs> It didn't have any babies to begin with, and I have counted now over, I want to say 30? I don't know where I'm gonna put them. <laughs> I'm so excited though. I just, I'm so excited, okay? <laughs> I'm terrified, but I'm excited. Quite a few of these already have roots, and four actually already fell off of the plant, and I placed them in the soil, right in the planter. Um, yeah, this plant has lost its ability to create seeds and it's adapted to grow these little plantlets that grow roots and drop and it just multiplies like crazy. It is a propagator's best friend, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, now this next one is probably the most gorgeous thing I've ever laid eyes on, aside from Jerry. <laughs> Here she is! This is a Calla Lily Memories. So I am in love with this plant. It's a zone seven through nine. It likes full sun to partial shade, just like the, <laughs> the mother of thousands. This lily, it likes damp soil, so it's not gonna be sopping wet. You don't need to soak it, but just like keep it lightly damp. She reminds me of like this young rich widow who just lost her husband and is truly devastated but the whole town thinks it was her that's what she reminds me of jared pointed her out to me and it took my breath away i was amazed and we didn't get her right away we actually went back later on and we bought her but if you were to look through her leaves at light you can see it filtering through those little white flecks and spots on her leaves it's not that it's burned or broken in any way that's just how her leaf structure is it's actually really beautiful so yeah those are all seven of the plants that i have gathered in the past couple of weeks yeah i'm i'm really excited to see how big this one gets in a month <laughs> i'm so happy with this purchase of the memories she's absolutely stunning side note the perlite that i used mixing in with the cactus oil made the biggest difference and i'm never going back so as always i'll leave a link down below to all of the materials that i use the shelf the lights the soil the planners any extra little stuff that i use i'll link all of that down below so you can check them out yourself but yeah i'm pretty excited <laughs> it's really cool anyways I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to continue following my little plant story journey, whatever you want to call it, then subscribe and yeah. What, what's your favorite succulent? 
comment down below. What's your favorite succulent? Your favorite hardy succulent? Or your favorite flower? Or if you just want to say hi, say, like, what's up? Say, hello, man. I hope you have a nice day and have a nice week. Have a nice month. Have a nice life. <laughs> Stay joyful, everybody. Bye.